Hello, my name is Minicat and welcome to some very fun spoilers. We finally have a decent amount of stuff to talk about in Space Age Titan, so I think it's finally time to make a dedicated video on all the spoilers we have so far, the early speculation and so on, to see what this new age might bring. Uh, I will say that all of this is uh, spoilers, it's based on assets that have been added to the game, but we don't have any official information yet uh, in terms of when this might come out on beta. Uh, I don't think it will be that long, uh, but it will probably be a couple more weeks at least, I think. Might even be more. Uh, and then probably a couple of months later on uh, the live servers. So I wouldn't expect this to come out before uh, late summer, early fall on the live servers. Uh, but who knows, they did push through Guild Expedition level 5 really quickly once it finally was out on beta, so who knows, they might do something similar with Space Age Titan. Alright, so let's just go through it, let's start by looking at all of the uh, regular city uh, buildings, all the Earth buildings we have so far, uh, which I think is most of the buildings, including three great buildings, ooh. But <laughs> let's start with the Town Hall, here it is. I really like the look of this. Again, I think the uh, art team is doing a really good job with this. Uh, I really like the tall, uh, tall building, the style of this, the color uh, scheme. Um, in general, I re yeah, really like the look of these buildings. Uh, so yeah, very happy with that. Uh, we have two residential buildings so far. Uh, both of them very small. We have a 4x3 and a 3x2 building. Uh, so... Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I doubt I will place any of these in my city, uh, but at least when it comes to the uh, quests to build this, it should be quite nice. Um, now, the this might for this is probably uh, the premium building I would imagine. So probably one regular building, four by three, and a premium three by two building. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's uh, yeah if that's the case. Uh, we also have two cultural buildings. Um, we have a 5x5 five five building, which uh, again is probably the regular building, and then also a 5x3 building, uh, which is, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the premium uh, building, but uh, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, and once again, we have a 2x2 two two decoration uh, that's been the standard now for the last couple of ages, so it's probably just going to be a step above the ones we have in the previous uh, ages, so... If, like me, you are in the final age with plenty of resources, they're quite nice to complete the uh, gather, uh, decoration, uh, gather happiness uh, quests for events and so on. We also have two production building. Uh, we have a 4x4 production building, uh, most likely the spacecraft engine merchant, uh, based on uh, how it looks. Uh, so this is probably, again, the regular building. Then we also have a 3x3 production building, the special liquid cocktail bar, uh, which I wouldn't be surprised if this is the premium building, the diamond building, uh, but who knows. So that's the regular buildings for the city. Uh, we also have th uh, five or six actually uh, synthesizers, uh, which is standard nowadays. Nothing really to talk about with these, it's the same mechanic as in the previous ages. Once you move on, you can produce the previous era goods uh, in the synthesizers in your regular world. So, nice to have. And then we move on to the most exciting thing, I think, uh, that we have so far. And that is three great buildings. So, all of these are 4x4. Four four, and if we look at the style of the great building here, it really does look like a chain building. So it really looks like we will chain each of these three great buildings next to each other. Uh, we don't know anything about boosts yet, but most likely uh, you will get some additional boosts, I, I imagine, if you chain all of them together. So that's really exciting, I think. Uh, finally, something new when it comes to great buildings, because they've been a little bit underwhelming, I think, the last couple of ages. Uh, I feel some situationally good ones, but uh, a bit underwhelming. So I am really excited to see exactly what this will bring. And because there are three of them, hopefully at least one of them, uh, or all of them combined, will provide something that is actually helpful and nice. Um, now, we don't know anything about how they work, 
of course. Uh, I imagine that they might be treated as three separate great buildings that you need to gather blueprints for. Uh, but uh, who knows? I have no idea how the blueprints and all of that will work. Uh, they could, for example, have a shared uh, blueprint and you kind of use them as a selection kit, but I don't think so. I imagine it'll be like three regular great buildings that will probably have some sort of chain bonus if you chain all of them together, uh, which uh, I'm really excited to learn more about. Uh, we just got this today in the um, in the spoilers. They, they released the assets today. So, so yeah. Hopefully in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, we will learn a lot more about what this might give. And um, I'm really, really excited. All right, let's move on to the military buildings. Uh, I also really like the look of these. Uh, they are a little bit different uh, from, um, from the style of the other buildings. Uh, but I think they're really fitting for military. So kind of more uh, darkish green, uh, camouflage-y. Uh, but, but still quite stylish with the orange accents and so on. So... Yeah, I really like the look of them. Uh, they are quite big. So 6x4, 5x5, 4x7, 7x4, and 4x6. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. That's uh, more or less what we've been used with the last couple of ages. So, uh, But still, quite big. And uh, unfortunately, at least for me, I will not be building any of these permanently. I will just keep it unbuilt in one of my corners uh, to collect for, uh, with the trash. But, uh, but yeah, if you do build them... Uh, they look really cool, if you ask me. All right, we also have the military units. Uh, we have the icebreaker, which is, well, it's definitely the heavy unit. Probably don't have to think too much about it. We have the molecular enforcer, uh, which might be fast. Uh, I think I think it looks quite uh, like the fast unit. We have the overclock arbiter, which uh, might be the artillery unit. We have the permafrost drone, uh, which uh, might be the light unit. I suppose that these two could be swapped, so they're light and fast, but uh, at least uh, the way I look at it, this looks more like the fast unit in terms of the graphics, uh, and this uh, then is probably the light unit, uh, because the pressurizer here is probably the ranged unit. Uh, definitely looks a lot more like the previous ranged units we've had in the last couple of ages. Uh, so yeah, probably the ranged unit. And then finally, we have the champion, and uh, I quite like like the look of the um, avatar here. Uh, some nice, uh, refreshing change, I think, from the previous ones. So yeah, I really like it. And in general, I really like really like these avatars or uh, splash arts or whatever you call them. They look really colorful, and uh, definitely gonna stand out from the other uh, units in the past. So. Yeah, in general, I'm really happy. I really like this color palette. I really like orange and white, that kind of color palette uh, with some greens in as well. So yeah, I'm really happy with the looks. Looks really cool. Now in terms of stats or anything like that, we don't know, but they don't look too dissimilar from previous ages. Uh, the heavy unit looks very much like the heavy unit from the last couple of ages. So I imagine it will still have a very low range uh, probably like one or two range. Uh, the fast, po possibly fast unit, uh, I don't know, um, also looks like it'll be a melee unit. This looks like uh, some sort of punching punching thing, I would imagine. Uh, or potentially gun, I don't know. Uh, the artillery is definitely artillery. Uh, the permafrost drone, um, I'm not sure. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it is uh, if it is uh, melee, but uh, it could perhaps be ranged, uh, at least I hope so, because the melee units, uh, they've never really been <laughs> good in the um, in, in any age, in the, any of the recent ages. Uh, and then the pressurizer, the ranged unit, it looks just like a regular ranged unit, so uh, I guess it will all come down to what uh, skills it has. And uh, we don't know anything about skills, we don't know about the uh, key and eye, for example, uh, if they're going to bump that up even more, or if they're going to have something else to perhaps combat that, uh, who knows. And then the champion will probably be the same as the heavy unit. Alright, let's move on. Uh, we have some streets, uh, nothing fancy. I quite like the look of the 2x2 two two road, but the 1x1 one one road is quite boring if you ask me. Uh, we have some uh, inhabitants, uh, nothing really fancy. And here we have a mock-up that I believe Nova made with uh, a couple of these buildings in the city. 
There we can see the roads, uh, some of the buildings, some of the military buildings and so on. And uh, again, I think it looks really nice, uh, really good. So, so yeah, there's that. Okay, so we also have the special resource, which is uh, crystallized hydrocarbons. Um, now, as you can see, exploration site, easy, normal, hard. Well, it seems like we will again have the same mechanic on the continent uh, on the continent map with exploration sites uh, that you scout and uh, fight or negotiate to get the uh, special resource. We also have the regular goods. We have compressed uh, matter. We have experimental data, isolated molecules, a liquid binder, and upcycled hydrocarbons. So here we have the goods icons, and then these are the production uh, options in the production building uh, on the uh, in the city. So it will be the four, eight, uh, one day, and two day options, or whatever they are. Um, so yeah. Nothing really to talk about, it's just uh, good. Um, yeah, we also have some production icons, and that's where we get the names from. So, the spacecraft engine and special liquid cocktail bar. Um, yeah, nothing really to talk about. Uh, some fancy icons if you're into that. Uh, and we also have some icons for synthesizing the unknown DNA, which is last, uh, uh, last age uh, special goods. Um, so, yeah. Moving on, we have some portraits, and um, well, I think all of these look quite uh, plain, to be honest. Uh, huh. uh, I don't really fancy any of these. Uh, I guess the only one that looks a little bit interesting to me is this guy. Perhaps this guy as well, but uh, I don't know. They all look quite plain to me, uh, so I'm probably not going to swap out my avatar. Uh, we have some quest givers, which look uh, much more interesting, if you ask me. <laughs> I would much rather have these as avatars, but um, all right. Uh, so yeah, these are the different avatars for the quest givers. Nothing really to talk too much about. We also have some achievements, uh, Space Age Titan and Space Age Jupiter Moon. Uh, not sure if that's new or not. Um, probably is new if it's added here. Anyways, so yeah, we have some achievements. All right, let's move on to the continent map. Um, here we have the PvP arena, which uh, fortunately is still around. There were some, they planned on removing it a while back, but, uh, but yeah, it's still around. Uh, we have the background here. Uh, I really like the look of it. Uh, but again, we can see it's pretty much the same as the last couple of Space Ages. We have two parts of the map. Hopefully they go in the right order this time. Uh, they kind of swapped around a couple of times, which one is part one and two, but, uh, but yeah, we have two parts to the map. Here we have the province owners, which all look a little bit crazy to me, or at least the last three here uh, look quite crazy. These, <laughs> not so much, but, uh, but yeah, these are the province owners. Um, here we have the part one. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, provinces here on part one and then we have part two with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so thirty seven i think it was yeah thirty seven in total uh i think that's a little bit lower i think wasn't it around mm, no perhaps not um no i don't know uh again i'm guessing it's similar to previous ages uh if, if you know, uh, comment in the, uh, or leave a comment with how many provinces there are in Space Age Jupiter Moon. Uh, but yeah, that's the provinces, and again, really like the look of the background here. Uh, looks uh, <laughs> looks quite ominous, to be honest, but uh, looks really cool as well. Uh, we also have the battlefield background, which is like this. Uh, looks uh, quite cool to me. Uh, here we have all the different terrain. So it's going to be fun to see how it looks with the terrain. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the colony, to the outpost. So uh, yeah, here we have the icon. Uh, we have an info screen, uh, which doesn't really show us anything new. It's pretty much the same as we've always had with the colonies. Uh, the image here looks quite placeholder-y. Uh, they will probably update this. Uh, because yeah, this doesn't blend in at all with the background. 
Uh, but yeah, we have the info screen. Let's go through the buildings uh, in the colony. We have the town hall here, uh, yet another really tall town hall, uh, which uh, I'm all for. I quite like the look of tall town halls. Uh, we have five different residential buildings. Uh, I don't remember. Um, actually, no, we don't. Never mind. We have, yeah, so we have three different residential buildings. We have three variations of this building. So all of these are the same building. You can see here. Uh, building number 3, 3B, and 3C, so different variations. So each time you open the colony, you'll probably have one variation of these on each of them. You have two variations of the second building here, and then, at least for now, one variation of the final uh, residential building in the colony. Uh, this looks a little bit work in progress. You can see the uh, watermark here as well, work in progress. Uh, definitely going to update the background here. Um, but yeah, these are the buildings. Again, I quite like the look of them. Uh, they kind of have the iglo, uh, iglo look, which uh, yeah looks quite cool, uh, especially with the kind of uh, blackened eyes below here. So yeah, I quite like the look of that. Uh, we have five good buildings. Um, these I really like the look of. Uh, I think they look really cool, all of them. Uh, caution looks quite dangerous. Uh, I also find this and this interesting. Uh, so this goods building, uh, probably <laughs> probably a work in progress still, uh, but looks like uh, some sort of truck. And then here, some sort of spacecraft. Uh, so my kind of uh, head cannon for the lore is that they kind of send out scouting parties to gather the resources and then bring them back. Uh, probably not any different mechanics, but uh, that's at least what I... <laughs> I think of in my head when I see these good buildings there. Kind of uh, similar to the uh, harbor and terminal in the Arctic and Oceanic Futures, but uh, probably just the regular good buildings when it comes to the mechanics. Uh, and then finally, we have some life support buildings. We have two variations again of the first uh, life support building and then two other life support buildings. And, uh, well, if luck be, you have plenty of resources, you're probably not going to place any of those. Um, yeah, so finally, we have the colony background. Uh, this one is also work in progress. You can, might be a little bit hard to see, but there is a watermark in, in the corners there. Uh, this, uh, I quite like the look of it, but it looks quite uh, small. Uh, so I, I imagine that they either will and make the building area here bigger, or they might just zoom in. So what you actually see on the screen when you open the colony is something like this in the middle of the image. So because this is where you will place all the buildings, and at least at this scale, you don't have that much room to place stuff. So, but yeah, I quite like the look of it again. So overall, I'm really happy as usual with the graphics. I am really intrigued by the uh, great buildings. I really want to learn more about that and see exactly how it will work uh, and definitely what kind of uh, boosts or rewards or um, I don't know, whatever they might give. Uh, definitely going to be interesting to see. So that's all we have for the Space Age Titan, but I do also quickly want to talk about the Space Hub. So this seems to be uh, the next, uh, well, not sure if you can call it an age, uh, but in the tech tree, uh, after a space age titan, we have the space hub. Uh, so what on earth is that? Well, uh, in addition to the space hub here, we also have these uh, alternate versions of the uh, backgrounds uh, for the technologies for all the space ages. So my speculation is that once you have completed space age titan, you can immediately unlock the space hub here. And with the space hub, uh, I think you might perhaps be able to travel back to previous space colonies uh, so that you can choose which one you want to have active. Uh, I don't really have anything to go by apart from these graphics there when I say that, but that's my theory right now, that you can use this to travel back to one of the older colonies uh, for example, to produce uh, more goods of a specific age. And I think if that's the case, I think that would be really cool. I think it would look really nice. Uh, yeah, it'll be really nice, especially with 
uh, gil expedition level, level 5 for example you might not need to produce your current age goods in the colony you might want to produce previous age uh, goods so then you could move back to the previous age colony and produce the previous age goods there for example um, Again, I don't know if that's what this is. It might be something completely different, but uh, that's at least my theory for now, that this will somehow allow you to travel between uh, the old colonies. And I think that's quite fitting with the name. It's called the Space Age uh, Space Hub. So I think it would be fitting if it is a hub that you can travel to all the different colonies from. Uh, and we also have these updated uh, graphics here for the uh, technology tree. So Perhaps when you move back, you will be able to, or perhaps you would have to do the technologies again in the colony to unlock all the, um, uh, unlock all the buildings and so on. Uh, that might be a way to kind of force you to uh, commit for at least for a bit to one colony. And then if you want to move to another colony, you have to research all the uh, colony specific technologies again. Uh, I think something like that could be a really good uh, way to implement it because it would you would be able to, but you would have to do the technologies, for example. Um, I don't know. I'm just uh, talk and just speculating based on pretty much nothing. Uh, but yeah, that's my theory. Uh, and and yeah, and just one quick thing uh, in the background here. Uh, what you see here is the space age. Um, no, it's the virtual future technology tree. Uh, so these will replace the existing. Uh, uh, backgrounds for the technology tree. There will not be additional ones beyond the one we have. So, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to learn more about this. Again, I don't know when it uh, will come out, but uh, considering we get spoilers for it right now, uh, I would imagine that this is released at the same time as the Space Age. Um, so, as the Space Age Titan. So, so, yeah, that's my speculation. I definitely want to hear what you think about it in the um, in the comments. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to learn more. I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, I am going on Easter holiday now for a couple of days. I will be back next week. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, until then, thanks a lot for watching. And before I end, I would like to thank my patrons for their support. I would like to thank Homsar, Loden, Kim Kaylee, Rolf the A, Don Suminat, Chanti, Hecate, Dark Matter, Mylia, Merrick B, Hugo Count von Count, Truth the Generous, Susan Weiss, Rocco, Spike from No Remorse, Mirth and Emrys, Clive the Avenger, Ashborn, Agler, Nova, Jibber, Ninja Alin, Henrik der Erklerberg, Mattia, Odaril, Mike, Obsidian Obsessed, Atomic, Ruth, Flavius Belisarius, Karen, and Dennis. Thanks a lot for your support, thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the future.